How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to reset the Acer Aconia A200 tablet back to uh, the default settings or manufacturer settings. And basically what you're going to do is um, go ahead and click on the clock in the bottom right corner. And then go up to the, the clock at the top right here. Click on that again. And then click on settings. And so you're going to come down. I was right at the bottom. You're going to come down to where it says backup and reset. Tap on that. And then first click on the backup account. And you know what it'll do is it's, it's always backing up actually. So it's not like I really have to like back it up before I do this per se. It's going constantly. But um, um, basically you're going to come down to where it says personal data and click on factory data reset. And when you tap on that, it'll say this will erase all the data from your tablet's internet, internal storage, including, and it just shows you, you know, the photos and all the stuff that's been currently synced on the tablet. Okay. And so go ahead and click on reset tablet. And then ask you again, are you sure you want to reset it? Click on erase everything. And what it's going to do now, it's going to power it down. It's going to turn it back on. And then it's going to uh, do a mass uh, reset. So, sorry, my camera gets a little funky when uh, it doesn't show anything on the screen there. So, um, don't let the blurriness mess you up there. So, now it's going to run through this setting for, um, uh, in my experience, it's usually like about 30 seconds or so. And what it's doing is it's not only erasing all of your data off of it, but what it's also doing is putting all of the the factory uh, settings back on there. So um, it's kind of setting it up like it would be when you first buy it. And this is a great thing to do if you're going to sell it or if you're going to return it. Maybe you decide that it wasn't a tablet for you. You're looking for some different things. Never a bad thing. You just It's better for you to erase your data before you bring it to the store. You never want to take a chance of your data getting stolen or your email address being, you know, hijacked, you know, things happen. So I always will go ahead and just do a full factory reset just so I have that peace of mind knowing, you know, none of my information is going to be out where it shouldn't be. Okay. So it's going to continue to run through the cycle. So that little 30 seconds is up and uh, we should see uh, a full reboot in um, a couple seconds here. And then I'll just show you that uh, it's fully set up back to the default settings, and then we'll be good to go. So there it is, Iconia tablet. And I'll sit there for a second. Yada, yada, yada. This is one thing I love about these tablets is, I mean, man, it's so quick to reset them. I mean, it never, in my experience, has taken more than like five minutes for it to just fully reset. Like, you try to reset a computer, man, it takes it takes a good little amount of time. So, uh, these really are are very efficient when it comes to how fast the data is removed. And even I just love that on tablets when you turn it on. I mean, it's on in seconds. Like computers still take, you know, a couple minutes to load. Even if you get one of the newest really fast computers is still not like an instant boot up so tablets definitely have the advantage when it comes to um, just their technology and their ability just to turn over really quick so we should be nearing the end right now um, and then it will get rid of the Iconia tablet little uh, symbol and then we'll be able to just jump right in and uh, see a brand new. And there it is. We're right at the reset mode where we set the country and the language and everything. So I'm going to keep it right here. But uh, hope that was helpful. Again, this has been the reset back to default.